We have. We've yeah. been waiting all week for this. And, you know, some spots started the morning with a few clouds, but as soon as the sun broke through, it was just yeah. you walked outside mm. and there's no hint of a chill in the air, mm. which is not something we've experienced mm. much oh, lately. Wow. Unfortunately, though, it's now a half and half weekend. Sunday was trending OK and then it started trending worse. And now Sunday looks pretty awful, oh. honestly. Oh. So tomorrow oh. looks great. And then big, big changes are on the way. That's the nature of spring. If you're going to get a warm up to the 80s in April, you better be ready for what's going to come behind it. Likely a strong storm system that'll bring some major changes. And that's what we've got on the way. But we've got one more day like this to enjoy. So if you didn't get a chance to get outside too much today, if you've been stuck at work or stuck indoors, tomorrow looks fantastic. Now it's colder at the beach. Cape May looks good, but you can see the waves rolling in. The ocean water temperature is still in the 40s, and that means temperatures on the sand not much better than the 50s. Further in Inland. We're in the low 60s there in the shore communities, but I saw some people walking on the beach, some folks sitting in their beach chairs in Ocean City, even though they had the hoodies on, they were enjoying the sunshine and a mild day in the month of April. So here's the general setup. OK, we've got a system and uh, really a stationary front that stalled just off to our north. That's far enough north that we are reaping the benefits of the warm sector of this storm. So a strong system back to the west with a cold front and notice this kind of square area. This is the quadrant of the storm that's bringing that south southwest wind where temperatures have really soared. That's where we are right now. But as we head into Sunday, this front is going to collapse back south as a cold front. It's going to bring in an east wind and that's going to mean temperatures will drastically drop through the day Sunday out ahead of the cold front passage, which comes in Monday. So right now things are looking fine outside. It's beautiful. We've got lots of sunshine. Temps are in the 80s. You can see even Atlantic City at the airport, which is a few miles inland, 75 degrees. But along the immediate coast, you can see the green there where temps are only in the 50s and 60s. 83 in Wilmington, 80 in Dover right now, and it's 79 in Millville, Allentown, even up to 84 degrees. What to expect for tomorrow? It's another stunner. Temperatures 15 to 20 degrees above average. Tons of sunshine. It will be breezy at times, but another great day. But watch the difference as we watch this front collapse back south. So here are tomorrow's highs. Temps are in the 80s here in Philadelphia, 82 in Washington, only 60 in New York, and only 42 in Boston. And on Sunday, as that front dips back to the South. Look at the difference. Sunday afternoon, 45 here in Philadelphia, 36 in the afternoon. This is about 4 p.m. 49 in D.C. Temperatures take such a hit through the day on Sunday, and then we'll be tracking heavy rain just in time for the morning commute on Monday. So here we go. Sunday, that front collapses back to the south. We've got rain, possibly even some sleet across portions of New York State. Temperatures rise again Sunday night, but then here we go Monday morning, heavy rain and thunderstorms, and that will impact your Monday morning commute. So we've got to pay the piper for these two beautiful days, Sunday and Monday, not looking so great at all. 60 overnight tomorrow, sunny, very warm, breezy and beautiful at 82 degrees. Sunday's official high likely at midnight will be near 60, but in the afternoon, temperatures are only in the 40s. I can't even stress what a difference it's going to be from tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. or so to Sunday afternoon at 4 p.m. Monday starts with that heavy rain. Next week, though, we rebound. Looks nice again, especially Wednesday. Maybe a shower on Thursday. Well, okay. Well, yeah. Listen, half like we've half. been saying, at least there's the good half right. now, and not just Oop. bad all the time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs>